Jim Butler and I'm a painter, printmaker, and draftsman. Uh, my name is Kathy Ingberg and I'm an oil painter in Peoria, Illinois. My name is Gary Belmont. I'm a ceramic artist from Champaign, Illinois. Hello, my name is Alfonso. I am a painter and I also teach art. Um, my name is Jessica Benjamin and I am a painter and a mom. My name is Jeff Flodo. I live in Bloomington, Illinois and I'm an artist. I make things. I have been doing a lot of drawing lately, um, but uh, I do lots of oils, lots of watercolors, and some assemblages when I can squeeze those in. So, so my name's Kelsey DeGrief, and I live in the Chicagoland area. I'm a little shy about calling myself an artist, um, but I work in project management right now for a nonprofit from home. <laughs> I'm Jonathan Higgins. I'm an artist in Bloomington, and I mostly make um, work in printmaking and drawing. My name is Angel Ambrose and I'm a painter and I live in Normal and my studio is in Bloomington, Illinois. My name is Tim Stone. Uh, in addition to um, my day job, which pays the bills, uh, I am an astrophotographer, so I take uh, pictures of the stars and uh, heavenly bodies. Uh, my name is Sheila Allen and I'm an artist here in Bloomington, Illinois. Painting and drawings. Uh, my name is Ian Crawley. I'm a local artist, artist uh, originally from London, England. Hi, I'm Ollie Accus. I am an, I'm an arts collaborative with my wife, Kayla Huneberg. We are fine, we're artists and art teachers that live in the Bloomington Normal area. I'm Kathy Crawford and I'm a printmaker in Peoria, Illinois. I am Greyhound and I am a mixed media installation artist and draftsman. My name is Jan Brandt and I'm a fiber artist, printmaker, and painter. And I had a great opportunity to work on a collaborative project with my intern, Lucas Stigman. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm Lucas, as uh, Jan <laughs> said. I um, am a current BFA in photography at uh, Illinois State, as well as a BS in arts technology. Uh, my name is Tori Thompson, and I am a photographer and assemblage artist uh, living in rural Illinois. My name is Herb Eaton. I make things, and I make things that are about the story of life. Whenever I get stuck, and that's, that's always, what are you going to make next, you know? And, and uh, I like looking at ancient ceramic pieces to see what people did long ago, and that's where I get my inspiration. I may think about those and like those, but I, it always progresses from there to sort of something different for me. But that's where I start. Uh, my creative process is doing. <laughs> and I find often I have, you know, I'll have a thought or an idea or even just a fragment of an idea for a piece. Um, but when I actually sit down and start doing something, you know, actually like putting the <clears throat> pencil in my hand and actually starting to make, that's the creativity right there. And um, that's when magic starts to happen and it can go off in different directions and often ends up very different from the initial idea. Um, I recently read a poem and the poet said he had dealt with the angel of sweat, labor. And that's my creative process, just keep working. It's my, I describe my creative process first as being consistent. I'm in the studio probably by 8.30 every morning and I usually you know, work for a good six hours. Well, it's one of discovery. Um, right now I've been doing a lot of work on panel, actually for the last few years. And it's uh, born out of the work that I've done in printmaking, which is um, putting a layer down and uh, manipulating that layer somehow and putting another layer down of paint. And slowly the light and color accumulate. So if there's something that's a particular color, it's really a mixture of lots of other colors that are underneath it or transparent layers that are on top. And so it's a matter of putting some, never have any real idea of how it's going to look when I start. It's, when it feels right, it's finished. 
I would describe my process as being kind of obsessive, probably. Lots of layers uh, in both my paintings and drawings. I kind of paint like a printmaker. I started out as a printmaker, doing lots of layers that way, and I kind of paint that way too. So that's why I work in acrylic. It dries fast and I can do a lot of layering. My creative process is one of, if it works, it works and we continue it, and if it doesn't, we hit our head against the wall a few dozen times until something comes to us. Um, my creative process is a lot of um, contemplation during sort of the busyness of the day and a lot of um, sketchbooks and note taking and then um, every now and then it culminates into the idea that I start working on. So, yeah. Well my creative process since I work full-time is uh, desperation basically. I, uh, I usually have about 10, 10 or so pieces going on at, diff at the same time and I'm constantly starting them, but uh, that way I can match my energy level from work or you know, whatever the situation I'm in. If, I, if I'm really tired, I, I pick a piece that I, fits my energy level. So that's kind of how I work. And they just alternate and then some get finished and lots more are started. I would say mine ends up being uh stems from perfectionism and then eventually like gets to the point that it can be sometimes so meticulous that it's counterproductive. <laughs> so the, I, I do long nights. Um, but yeah, I would say that it's a lot of trial and error and failure sometimes. Um, I'll just use adjectives. Surprising, really energizing, frustrating, and really, really satisfying. Um, my creative process is cathartic, it's an escape, um, and my sister recently showed me a quote that said, art is just another form of screaming, so that kind of feels good to say. <laughs> All I think of uh, ceramics as experimental and experiential. By that I mean I like experimenting with a lot of different glazes, a lot of different firing temperatures, firing things that temperatures that they're not supposed to be fired at just to see what it looks like. And experiential is, I like, I have a basic idea when I start to do something, but I like to work with the clay and experience it and it evolves from that point. So it's very exper experiential and experimental for me. My creative process is a balance between um, wrestling with concepts and imagery and trying to communicate something. I like to incorporate a wide variety of styles in my work because it keeps me from getting bored and hopefully the people who look at my artwork. Our creative process is a collaboration. We work together. Um, we brainstorm together. We solve problems together. We bounce ideas off of each other. Everything's together. And we used to be separate. When we got married, we realized that all of our work involved one another in some capacity, so we decided to join forces. Well, I would think probably anybody that saw the work that I did thinks I'm mad. Um, the, they're painstakingly done, and uh, even though they're not always um, photorealistic in that sense, uh, but there's, there's a lot of, uh, particularly in some of the still life work, there's a, a lot of excruciating detail that goes into the work. And um, there's a sense of the fantasy. And I was interested in the show because of the title, Lunacy, which makes you feel like it's a visionary or fantastic world. And I certainly want to capture some of that essence in uh, my body of work. <laughs> Being an artist is mad enough. I mean, I think if you step back and you take a look at, you know, just the act of making art is in this today's society is, is insane, you know. Um, and currently I'm moving my studio, so I'm having to box up a lot of things and I'm kind of looking and discovering, you know, I'm building a pyre here, you know, it's kind of like box after box after the box, but I continue to do it, so there's the madness, so, and I wouldn't change it for anything. 
I find madness in the practice, somewhere between saying yes to something and completing it. Like, the madness hits, like, what was I thinking? <laughs> Did I think I could really do this? Uh, whatever uh, adversity comes my way, and just having to push through the madness until the magic shows up. And at the last 10%, when everything comes together and ties it all up, uh, you know why you persevere through madness. Madness, yeah, madness. Um, I guess madness at the moment is definitely scheduling. So um, I think being an artist, um, although um, it can be maddening sometimes for right now, that's my um, kind of my thing that tethers me to the world. I know, I know who I am, um, it's part of who I am. and. Um, but the madness is just fitting all of those different aspects of who you are in your life into the day. So that might bring a little bit of madness. <laughs> so. Madness is my practice. I mean, there's an obsessiveness in a lot of the things that I do. I'm actually looking at my piece right now and going, I can't believe that happened. I can't believe I did that. Why did people let me do that? So I think. Successful work sometimes just is a culmination of you accessing that madness and making it visible to other people. My creative process for astrophotography um, is really uh, an, an attempt to broaden my horizons, is to, to put my problems or my day or my, uh, my existence into a reasonable perspective. So I, I think of the universe has a pretty good context for that perspective, and that inspires my creative process. What inspires me are the kinds of myths that human beings have created forever to try to explain, understand um, their sense of, of the divine around them, you know, that, that ineffable kind of other presence.